Hey guys, it's Soup. So we were able to get ourselves into the DC Dual Force closed beta. And what I thought we would do today is we'd go through some of the starter decks. Not all of these are starter decks. Swift Justice is a starter deck. Raven the Bold is a starter deck. And I believe Deadly Divas is a starter deck. I believe those are the only starter decks in the game. So I thought that we'd go through some of the starter decks and, and just see how good they are, whether or not they just need a couple cards changed around or if they just need to be scrapped all together. So today we will be looking at Swift Justice, uh, which is a Superman Flash deck. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. All right, so here we got a game against Seraphim, uh, who is playing Batman Aquaman, who is the meta. Um, I think we're probably going to have a hard time against this leader combination. Uh, I had already played a couple of games with this deck, but I forgot to record them, so we're playing a couple more. And in those other games, I had mentioned how I thought that going up against one of the like, uber meta deck combinations would probably be really difficult for this deck because uh, one of the things that i noticed that this deck struggles with is that if you don't have board during the late game uh you kind of just run out of steam and what i mean by board if you don't know is just like having board control so having more just units on the board than the enemy does so what this leader combination really excels at is keeping board presence uh so i think we're probably gonna have a hard a really hard time trying to figure out how to get around what ooh, that was a mistake for me i was trying to play superman role but i wasn't even paying attention uh but yeah i, I think we're gonna have a hard time getting around what their deck wants to do so but we'll see i mean we'll see we're not going to give up here just because they're playing a, a meta deck and we're not so that's really good that means that their batman leader gets charged and then they can go ahead and punch into uh max mercury yep and then their superman robot can probably attack our flash yep that's exactly what i would have done in that situation uh, okay, and then they put Steve Trevor to charge their Aquaman, so the next turn they have their Aquaman. So already we're off to a really bad start. I mean, I guess really the only thing that we can do in this situation is just put Superman Robot down and buff him up with super strength. Now... Do we activate Flash here? I think we do. I think we take <laughs> Ready to race? the 4 damage to clear the Superman robot here. And, and turn. That way they have to punch into my Superman robot to even deal damage. So they're probably going to be... Punching in with Aquaman to get rid of the shield. And then Steve Alfred. And now they have two cards that they can play. Okay, so they get rid of shield with with Alfred, which actually makes more sense than what I was saying. Create two sea creatures in hand. Sea creatures are oh they're bronze? I was gonna say they're silver, right? But no, they're bronze. That's really bad for us. See, oh, seahorse. That is, that is awful. That is really bad. Okay, so I guess what we do here, we just put down Superboy with shield here. And then we just have to, Never we have to play. activate Superman and kill this shark. There's no other play. We have to do that.
And then we can't do anything else because using Power Surge in this instance will be a throw. So they're going to get their Batman ability. They can definitely clear my Superboy. Honestly, probably just punch in with uh, Seahorse. Or unless if they get a Batarang here. If they get a Batarang, then clear the shield with Batarang. And then punch in with... I don't know, Steve Batman. Yeah, this uh this leader combination is so good for a reason. They it, it just excels in keeping boy presence. Okay, so they don't have a battering. Because the play would have been to get rid of Oh, okay, so they're just okay. Never mind. They're just gonna reap trigger it. I was going to say, the play would have been to clear the shield with the battering, but I guess that's good enough too. Really? Okay, I mean, that's... That's definitely interesting. If they had the battering all along, they could have... Well, whatever, I mean... Alright, well, I guess we do this. I mean, our Flash is going to die anyways. So let's just put damage on the board. Yeah, I honestly have no idea how we beat this leader combination with this deck that we have. Because, again, we the win condition for this deck is to get board presence early. Uh, so... Going second, I think, really hurts it. And also, um, going up against this leader combination really hurts it. So, they're going to go push for lethal on my flash, which they can do really easily. So, they're going to be looking for a, a battering here to clear the shield on Superboy. And then they could probably just ramp um, freaking Seahorse and Batman into the Superboy. And then clear with, honestly, just Steve. Realistically, they can get rid of both of the people that are on my board this turn. And then all I have is Big Bardo, um, Power Surge, and then whatever I draw. So this game should be in the bag for them. Really, you're not... Cl They're really valoring that seahorse. Maybe they want to attack with Aquaman this turn. Okay, so they give that to the seahorse, yeah. They're really valoring that seahorse. Which, I mean... Seahorse is an amazing card. Yeah. So now we have Big Barda and we got Hawkman. I mean, I think this is the only play. I struggle to see how we come back from this, but I mean, we'll play it out. It is true that they only have one ones on their board, but... I mean, they just have so much presence. I will turn the tide. I'm interested to see if they're going to be able to clear the border. Come on. Okay. So maybe they're just going for the Hawkman. Ooh, that hurts us a lot. They drew into their Lucius, oh no. Oh no, and now their Batman's back up to full ox. No, they're healing up their seahorse. Yeah, they're really, really valuing that seahorse. They don't want that to die at all. 
Are they healing the seahorse again? Yeah. They don't want the seahorse to die at all. Okay, so they kill the Hawkman. That's interesting. And then they heal the Batman here. No, they heal the seahorse again. Wow. What are they doing here? Arrest? That's why, I guess. So I guess we just play Barter again. I mean, we can clear the seahorse with uh, Superman. Never stop fighting. We have to do that. It's unfortunate, but we do. And then... I don't know, both of these are kind of suck, to be honest, but I think we probably kill Lucius just so we have a path to uh, for the humpback whale. And... Right. So on board they have five eight damage. So on board they can't kill the big barda. If they draw into a battering, then big barda's dead. So let's see. Oh, well, big bard is dead. <laughs> I think she's dead exactly. Out oh, the rest. Well, all right. Well, we'll do what we can here. Big Varda again. Kong Keenan, and then I mean that has to be our turn. On board, they have six. Yeah, they have they have lethal on Big Barda on board, so they can just play everything they have. Honestly, I mean, it would. I would clear out their entire board if they decide to do that. So I'm not sure if they want to, but they could clear my big Barda, which is honestly probably what they should do. Because they know I only have one card in my hand. I would attack with the humpback whale here, since it doesn't die. I know they're probably hesitant on uh, ramming the, the Gordon in but because he still has evade but I think you have to okay well. never mind I guess not, not unless you have grapnel gun then you can just retrick a Gordon and get the squad car dude Gordon is such a good card <laughs> it's not fair man Gordon is such a good card all right well Uh, yeah, there's nothing that we can do here. They have onboard lethal. So, we just concede here. Yeah, this that was uh, probably the worst leader combination that we could have gone up against. With this deck, I think. I was saying before that I think this deck loses specifically to, <laughs> to that leader combination. All right, uh, now that you've seen what the deck plays like, uh, I guess let's just go over which substitutions I would make. So right off the bat, I think in order to get to the late game in a better position, because like I said plenty of times, I think the win condition for this deck is have board presence into late game, which is essentially just once you start getting your uh, resources. If you have board presence into the late game, then you're in a really, really good position. So I think the best way for this deck to maintain board presence until the late game is to just shove in the shield utility into this deck. 
this deck doesn't really have that much shield utility, even though it's a Superman deck, which is really weird. So we'd probably... We keep Superman Robot for sure. I would probably throw in a couple Bibos. I like Antiope because even though she isn't shield, she does have aura, so she can deal with what you saw last game where the guy just kind of like mass arrest or not mass arrested but he just arrested me a couple of times and to she wouldn't be able to be arrested you know so i would put her in maybe even a lowest lane just to or a couple lowest lanes just so you can activate your superman ability more frequently and then superman is just really good at clearing big threats on the board so Throw in a couple of Lois Lens probably. Superman Robot's really good. Uh, Steve Trevor, really good. I think he should be in every Might deck probably. In Might decks, if you if you have extra room and you don't have Steve Trevor, it's always a good shout to just put Steve Trevor in there. Hammer Throw is really good, but I think we run Hammer Throw in here. Yeah, we, we run Hammer Throw in here. Uh, I would actually take out the Hawkman because we don't really have much here that would be like buffing or like affecting Hawkman, so I think we take out Hawkman. Con Kanan's fine. We definitely put Steel here. So Guard Utility on top of Shield Utility. It just does a really good job of maintaining board. So I think from the Might side, probably the most important things to put in this deck would be Steel, uh, Steve, Trevor, Lois Lane, and then maybe even a Bibbo. On the energy side, honestly, I think you kind of just want to go for those like cheap early clear cards. So kind of like Energy Blast, we have Energy Blasts in the deck already. Uh, so run two of those. I think we would have to put Ambush Bug in there because he's just an like another essentially form of energy blast but he does two damage instead of the three but he stays as a body on the on the board um maybe even throw in amethyst just so you can have the crystal blast and then her body is still kind of a threat early game because even though she gets one shot really easily she she still has that three power uh so unless that they have an action clear like a batarang or an energy blast that's three damage that one of their bodies is going to have to deal with eugene Choi, i think probably kind of like steve trevor should probably go into most energy decks just because he's a two three which is a pretty decent stat line for a bronze card just in it of itself but then it creates uh three lightning bolts which if you do manage to draw into those lightning bolts they're just free two damage you know and it replaces itself so i think eugene Choi is a good shout um iris west maybe you can probably get away with not running an iris west but i think iris west is probably just good in any flash deck um i don't see anything else that i would probably want to put in i'd probably take out red tornado to be honest but yeah i think that's what i would change take out like red tornado uh, Geoforce. I don't see why we would need Geoforce. I don't... I think we only probably need one copy of Cosmic Treadmill. I think we probably go really light on the, um, the energy side. So we can have those Iris Wests, those Ambush Bugs, those Energy Blasts, those uh, Amethysts to just help clear the board. And then on the Might side, you just go for that shield and um guard utility but yeah let me know what you guys think about this starter deck what would you change put it in the comments below and i will see you next time